Hey y'all, so I got this uh, Toyota engine, it's a uh, VVTI, it's an AZFE, yeah, 2AZFE, it's a 2.4 out of a Camry uh, 2005 model, um, I had to do the head on it, and I put time cert inserts in the block and all that, because uh, the bolts only go in the block about this far, so um, if you have a head gasket on it, you really need to use time cert inserts for the block to bring it back to uh, if you want to rebuild this engine with a big big problem and hassle and uh, apparently uh, I can't find a, a mechanic and uh, I don't gotta live in Tuscaloosa but so far I, every mechanic I've talked to it's a mystery of them and how to deal with this this is the VVTI assembly it goes on the end of the camshafts or the camshaft the intake camshaft um, they want you to pressurize the uh, the VVTI mechanism with 20 psi pressure to simulate the oil pressure to unlock it. This one's unlocked. This one is locked because all right. So there's match marks. If you see two vertical, you see the AS. See beside that the two holes. See how they're lined up. That means it's locked. There's a pin inside there that releases at 20 PSI. Working oil pressure when the motor's running, but if, you, if you've taken it off the engine, you have to simulate that with air pressure and it's really, really tough. They tell you in the service manual to use vinyl tape, vinyl tape, and um, apply 20 PSI of air pressure into this port that's at, let's say that's, um, Let's say that oval slot in the back that's toward the camshaft, let's say that oval slot is at 12 o'clock. Now, I'm not really great at doing videos and all, but if that's at um, 12 o'clock, then I'm going to say that, that my airport is at 3 o'clock, just looking at it, looking at it this way. Looking at it in the thing there, it looks like it's at 9 o'clock. But anyway, um, there's going to be one at 90 degrees. Away from that, can you see how, okay, I'm gonna look at my phone. I got it in, a, I guess you say, a selfie sort of mode there. So it's filming me. So I'm saying that that's, it's nine o'clock looking at it. And it looks like that one slot's at one o'clock that's square and the oval one is almost at 12 o'clock. On the inside, the cutaway, it's almost at 12. The oval that we've been marking with is at 12 up here. And then uh, that one is up at uh, one o'clock that way. And then mine is the where I've, I'm trying to tape this air in port that I had to, I should have, uh, I'll show you when I finish, uh, if this works, I'll show you the custom made tip I made with a Dremel tool and a skill knife to, uh, to uh, make an uh, air fitting that'll fit into that hole that's up in an inside corner, metal inside corners, that I'm trying to seal up. Uh, plus, all right, so when I simulate the air pressure, hopefully this, uh, uh, I, need a, I need to mount my, my phone here. When this unlocks, the back part of this, Okay, let's see how we're gonna do this. Oh, I'll do like this. Let's lean against the angels there. All right, this is better. When the pin that's inside this mechanism releases, unlocks, this, the gear facing and this, uh, this part, oh, no, actually, it's, uh, yeah, the gear out here and this will turn independently. No, this inside. That's why to make this special tool. I've only, there's only one other YouTube video that I've seen on this. Okay, am I looking at the wrong end of my phone? Yeah. There's only one other YouTube video I've seen of this, and this guy takes one apart and shows you how to do it, but he doesn't actually do it. I'm going to, if I can do it, maybe I'll actually do it or actually film it but it looks like it's gonna be a two-handed kind of job so he made a special tool that drops down into those two slots inside i don't know if you can see them but there's two slots 
I just cut the end off of a fork with a Dremel tool and flatten it out flat to make a key to turn the inside of this thing. Yeah, this housing out here is gonna stay stationary and that gear is gonna turn 30 degrees. And those holes, those match marks that I showed you on the outside out here, they will not be lined up. They'll be uh, 30 degrees one way or the other. They said counterclockwise. This always messes with me. It's like, okay, it's counterclockwise this way, or is it, are they talking about counterclockwise this way? Um, pretty sure it's going to be um, counterclockwise this way. This is my first YouTube mechanicing video, so go easy on me if you comment or anything. I know it's kind of, I'm not doing a very good job with it, but this is, in Tuscaloosa, is a mystery to so many mechanics. Um, I'm just doing it by the, um, by the way the book shows and by the one or two YouTube videos. Everybody takes these apart, but nobody um, demonstrates actually unlocking the VVTI mechanism um, successfully with air like it calls for in the shop manual. And no mechanic that I've talked to has, uh, has uh, been able to do it either, has ever done it. They usually just replace the engines or they replace components. Oh, these come from the factory unlocked. Uh, they're already, of course, already on the car and it's already had oil pressure to keep them unlocked. But when you take it off the car, it, uh, it locks. Yeah, or when you turn the ignition off, it locks. But when you turn it on, to pressurize it, unlocks, and it works again. So that's my, that's my uh, mechanicing video. And wish me luck. I'll try to quit looking at the wrong end of the phone next time I make a YouTube video. And um, maybe I'll post another one if this works. All right, over and out.